to our next contest, ladies and gentlemen, scheduled for three three-minute rounds. And let me first of all introduce to you in the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring, Rovelli Paolo. So make his way to the ring then is Rovelli Paolo. Seen him uh, yesterday, very nice guy, smiling, happy. Don't look at his picture, but rest assured he was. And uh, yeah, we'll see what he's like. It's an unknown quantity to me. It's an unknown quantity to everybody else around me, because uh, our team from England don't know these guys too well. But we know that they do come for a fight. The Italian passion looks deep, very tight. It does all over Europe. It's strange how a sport from Siam has captured the imagination and captured the hearts of everyone around the world. And with shows like this, giving the fighters a platform to showcase their talents, it can only go on and on. So we'll see. Here he is then. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner, Entertainment for you to kick off 2020. A very busy year for me in commentary. And a very, very exciting show. And I'm really looking forward to seeing the ties from the Yokao Training Centers. We all are to see what sort of magic they can produce. Their art that runs deep in their deep. Atmosphere's going up now, isn't it, Gavin? Is a notch of yeah, excitement just been taken up. Yeah, you can see it now. The stats are just uh, getting lively. There's the stats then. 28 fights and 26 fights. 21 wins for Eskimo and 2018 for his opponent. Yeah, both big guys. Uh, three rounds. It's going to be a fast start, this. Atmosphere's good. Those are they going to hack about? No. So our referee brings the two fighters to the ring. Rovelli Paolo in the black shorts with the yellow trim and uh, the stuff. And the yellow shorts is for the Ready? That wasn't me. That one then. Good eyesight. Yeah. It's Michele. He's had to get a good good eyesight. Look for those gaps. Yeah. Good balance. Nice. Belly. Good start from there. Uh, Caught around the corner yeah. with that sweet right hook, very sneakily. Same with the attack there, though, Gavin. Is yeah, the same thing a few yeah. times? You know, straight shots and then the hook straight away. Big 
guy, so he won't easily get hurt. He won't easily see his feet as well. Good! That knee was very calm, wasn't it? Very calm, it's on minty hot sort of thing, I do. Yeah, not much, not much, not much to clinch. Look at these guys from the future. There's a strong place down there. Nice local person, Carol. UK is Mr. Steve Brew, my referee. We're locking on in the clinch, we're just getting much too close. Blood coming from the nose of Robelli. Puts his hands together uh, well, Kelly. Uh, Push his feet in though, Gavin. Just no, he's not landing with any sort of authority. He's landing the shots. He needs to push in his feet, get a bit more gusto behind his shots and just better. See the effect of the punches. Michele, just the blood coming from the nose. Nothing too horrendous. Be careful, old Michele, because he's not, he's not putting, as you say, he's not putting any power into those shots. And you can't time, you know, you're used to that. You can't time, you can time a good piece of counter there. Especially with an elbow. Yeah. Nice body shot. Okay. Power looks a little bit old. Just putting the shots on though, isn't he? You know, he's no real twist on him. No, nothing with him, is there really? Power looks a little bit distressed there. He's a little bit... He's run out of ideas yeah, already. He's quick to jump to the clinch and sort of spoiled. Not doing it there, but... Yeah, his hands are starting to come lower and yeah. flopping around, except for 30 seconds left of this round. And looks like the writing's on the wall for him. What a very Paolo. Big, sneaky sort of left hand just switch. Just guarding through it. Yeah. No, no, no stats, no shots. No. Look at the thudding shots, yeah. aren't they, Gavin? Yeah. He, you know, he's getting caught with regularity there. The bell ends a little bit early, I believe. And I was handling it. You know, when he's 
doing as well, Gavin. Kelly smothering his own shots, isn't he? Yeah. So he's smothered himself here. It's not, and he's not really a clincher or a near. And something else as well is that, that kind of style that he fights with. These guys are 88 kilos. Really end up sacking as well. Really end up sacking. Not going to go to maintain that you know, shape. Fight. The trouble is as well with Nikeli, he's starting to throw and sit on his shot so much that he's getting his leg kicked by Ravelli. And he's starting to run out of a bit of steam, Ravelli here. He looks tired. Mouth open. Yeah. Good shot. That was the best shot of the fight, really. Slings an overhand right. Good body shot. Throws in with the knee. The right on the wall here, I'm afraid. Good work by Steve Broom. Starts a ship punishment. Ravelli needs to pay attention to the referee. Hanging on for dear life here, Gavin, last minute. Yeah, very tired. Kelly okay, really taking the back of it down. Kick it underneath the leg, left hook goes to the body. Good body shot. Pop that leg by up there then. Yeah, no power in it. Sneaky right hand. Some get so close, let his shots off. He can give himself half a step back. Sling them shots in, put the hips no, into he's it. No trouble landing the shots. So no. He can take his time a little more now and really push some snapping back holding. into them. Stop holding on. Referee Stop. getting just as frustrated as I am. Hanging on for dear life. That round ended early again. Yeah, as I said, I mean, it's not the most eye-catching fight, but listen, we can't, can't make them happen, can we, you know? And I tell you... A little bit clumsy, isn't he? He's yeah. falling into his shots, spoiling his own work. And, and you know, when you look at Paolo, he's there, he, he, he is kind of a less than going to take him a little bit, you know, yeah. step off, so the shots be a bit more selective. So we're going to round number three then, and I didn't think he would get through Touch this. Gloves. Sort of very Paolo. Touch gloves. Touch gloves. Step back. It's fine. Chuck. Caught himself there, Kelly, and sprang yeah, Ravelli into, into life. life. Better. Normal service as received. There you oh, go. There you go. Nice Left shot. up with a right hand, just bounced off the chin of Ravelli. And he gets up. Five, six, nice shot. Seven, now let's see. Eight, he four. should take him out now, Kelly. Kelly. Real springy step now. There you go, good shot. Nice. Swinging for the bleachers at times. And Steve Broom stops the fight. Justifiably so, there was nothing coming back. And you know, you can't argue with the referee. You know, it's not just that either. He, 
lost the first two rounds handily, and he was he didn't get dropped in that third round. Why yeah. take more punishment? The rain was on no, the ball. It's, it's good refereeing. Listen, he's better one punch too early than one punch of too late, and that's the way it goes. Course. Of course, everybody wants to continue. I mean, that was the correct thing to do. It was a good stoppage. So, yeah, excellent work by our referee, Mr. Steve Broom, I believe, stepped in just at the right time. Mr. Belly was in no position to continue or, or just look after himself. And there you go, then all are happy uh, getting on each other's. Uh, getting on his knees to each other and showing respect. Here's some of the action. It was a Good long right sort of left up a gut type thing and then a right hand bounced off the chin. He got up, laboured. And then there was a barrage of shots that it was just a question of time. You know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of when George Groves got stopped by Frost. A little bit, yeah, a little bit. But I think, I think he shipped a bit more punishment than, than, than what he had. But yeah, because you could sense there was a, there was a, a worse shot. So, ladies and gentlemen, during the third round, our referee has stopped the contest, awarding this bout to your winner in the red corner, Michele Mastromatteo! Well, there's things to learn, isn't there? And your appreciation, please, for Roberto Paolo! Lessons to be adhered to, and a good performance there by McKelly. All smiles and friendship afterwards, a la Muay Thai as it always is. Toughest combat sport in the world, the highest level of respect. Well, here's our MC, Mr. Douglas McAdam. Tell us 